Riddles has made a I mean, lot. Riddles has made ways, but like I'm like in at like A tier event, you know, like PGR right. events kind of thing. Um, I would love to see Nitro travel out so we'd have the opportunity, but yeah. I feel like that's just because Nitro just hasn't had that opportunity. Right, right, exactly. So I feel like Nitro could be Riddles in. Not, 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 not like the matchup, but oh my god, he just died because he took away the double jump. Yeah, that was uh, 0 to 80 into. One hit, yeah, yeah, into the slap, man. Alright, well, that's one way to start this off. Oh, no, nope, there's. Nope. You know he wanted the, the forward smash. On, on the. 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 The right, side down stick, but unfortunately, like, Cross is gonna interrupt that. So, but again, he's off stage again, and no, Kong Kong's just fishing for this death off stage and almost gets stuck in the wall a second time with that misfire. Yeah, that would have been big. Yeah, and it, it seems like they're a little bit more gracious about that, you know what I mean? The, uh, like, sticking in the wall with misfire. I, I feel like I see it less. I don't know if it's because like, it, it, it happens less, or it's because you know, like Luigi's have to utilize side B more so they're able to space it out better. Yeah, they could, that definitely could be a thing. Ooh, I love the spacing from T3 Dome, just staying right out of range of that Cyclone. And it can, it's uh, much easier said than done because uh, there is a wind box that pulls you into the Cyclone as well. So some people try to stay like right out of range, and they'll get pulled into it with the wind box. Right. Okay, setting up shop here on the ledge. Here we go, just throwing out all these aerials, hoping that Luigi can't break through it. But you know what? Like, Luigi has a really good fast projectile in the form of the fireball, so it's going to be hard for Belmont to space with the uh, aerials. Yeah, especially if the Luigi doesn't have to approach, that's a big deal. But the fully spaced downward angled back air, really good stuff coming out from T3 Dome. Um, it, it, it's a start. But it's a it's definitely a start from a very, very long climb. We've got an entire stock down. But right now, Kong Kong using that invincibility on the down to pierce through all these hitboxes, but not really getting too much damage off of it, honestly. You know, a T3 Dome just opting to uh, use its aerials, use its spacing to the best of his abilities. And that was a weird air dodge way. And he's going to get punished for that. Is that going to be dead? That's oh, going to be dead? And with the rage as well, oh, yes. Oh, no. T3. That's. <laughs> Three. No, not like this. That sucks. I oh. I don't know if he was trying to do like I saw this uh, Belmont tech where you can like it's like a actual waveland. It looks it looks like an actual waveland for melee kind of thing. Um, I don't know if he was trying to do that, but I don't think it involves air dodge. I think you just have to like jump right after you like go above I, the platform. Or I'm something. pretty sure that was a misinput. Like he wanted like jump like he wanted jump uh, down B or jump up. Uh, Right, right. Not, got I, I also don't know his like button layout. Maybe he has like some because I, I have uh, X for grabs, so sometimes I do like some weird SDs. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, unfortunate miss input there towards the end, and even like that zero to death right off the bat. Uh, quite a uh, game to start off with here in the set for T3 Dome, but you know everyone can bounce back. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens this game number two. Here we go. No, Luigi finally managed to get that grab, and you know, there's the combo, but opting for dash attack instead of the uh, up knee. I wonder why. Maybe he just wasn't spaced properly enough for it, but it doesn't matter. It keeps much souls M2. Yeah, yeah. I think right there, instead of the up he knew it was going to kill. Kalos has high ceiling. So, wow, the wind box actually pushed him away. But he sets up for dash attack to send him out at the lower angle for the edge guard to follow. So it's like, I'm going to cash out, maybe get 10% less damage, but you know, put him in a position where I could possibly get the edge guard, and it kind of worked out for him there. Right. I mean, he bet on black, and it pulled up, and it paid off. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And that, that's a that's the cool thing about Smash. You know, I mean, sometimes always going for like the guaranteed damage isn't the best thing. You know, sometimes you gotta take a little bit of a gamble, yeah. and it, it can definitely pay off. Or you know, not. Yeah, trade damage for positioning. Right, right, exactly. Those are the little minute things that separate the good from the great, man. Okay, gonna go low with the side beam. Here we go. Now, can, can T3 don't capitalize on him holding center stage, or will Kong you know, grab him again and you know, start the whole process all over again? Yeah, very interesting counter pick here. Um, I feel like it's harder to ledge trap people on Kalos just because that platform is right above the ledge. Um, and Belmont's ledge trapping is very good, so I feel like you want to like kind of amplify that. But on, at the, on the same token, 
you kind of like, if a zoner's getting pushed to the corner, they have that platform that's like a last retreat, you know what I mean? Oh, and there it is, the forward tilt. Normal get upping right into that holy water will usually mean certain death or much percent. So T3 Dome evening is right up. Even just like, it's crazy considering how dominant that first stock was from Hong Kong. So T3 Dome was able to slow that down and just slowly whittle away with it. Adam, and honestly, not even taking that much damage. He's only 27%. All right, he just took the lead just now. So, you know, Kong Con, I feel like he found that one in and hasn't found it since. Yes, yes. Uh, and I mean, that that's the crazy thing about Belmonts, man. When you do get your openings, sometimes it is, uh, they don't give you much of them. So you got to really make it count. But here he is off stage, and you know, I like that using the plunger to kind of like throw out a projectile like in the zone that Belmont would want to tether to, but T3 Dome throwing out the cross, still covering his momentum just a little bit to avoid that. Oh yeah, just a really good lingering hitbox, and it kind of like sinks down too, which is such a great tool. And like while it's sinking down, you can go on and do something, but T3 Dome not going to have enough fuel in the tank to make that one back. There goes the second stock, and now Con Con going to get a big amount of damage here. There's the air dodge, but oh man. That no. was almost directional air dodge in the death. All right. But oh. that down B is going to cost him his own life right there. You know, T3 Dome just showing up how, like, these stocks are even. Yeah, and that was really nice, too. A lot of people, like, one, they're just bad at punishing uh, Cyclone. But right there, we saw the optimal punish coming out from T3 Dome, the, 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 the forward smash tipper, you know? Because, right. yeah, Cyclone is very, very amazing, but it also has very very long end lag, so you can get really, really big punches on it. No, Kong Kong's just looking to end the stock right here with a smash attack or something, but T3, if he can get a couple more hits in, you know, maybe get a confirm with the Holy Water, he might be able to bring this game back. Or just put Kong Kong on the ledge one time. I've seen Belmonts bring it back entire stocks by putting someone on the ledge. In my opinion, I think this character has the best ledge trapping in the game. It's oh, yeah. so devastating. I mean, I feel like his entire kit was designed for that ledge trapping game. Yes, yes. Oh man, doesn't get a smash attack off the parry. Plunger disappears right when he needs it the most. Tethered all the way from over there, excuse yeah. me. Really wow. good angle. That's one thing, like, Belmonts are, oh, the dash attack? Is that gonna be it? 160, oh, oh man, yeah. and the knee slapper pop off coming out from Kong Kong. I mean, you know Kong Kong was like sweating a little oh, bit Oh, he was the end. super, I, I think anyone would be sweating because like we were talking about, it's just like one good holy water. You know, this Belmont got max rage. They they touch you with forward smash at like 60, you're just a goner. I mean, even then, like if he gets Luigi off stage, like Luigi has like yeah. horrible, horrible ho like recovery options. You know, like yeah. if he gets Ferret off stage, if he gets a uh, Nair drag down, like that could be it. I almost want to argue that Belmonts might have a better recovery than Luigi because they have different points in when they, which they can tether if you angle the the forward air and the back air correctly. I, they're pr they're both pretty bad. Don't get me wrong. But. Right. I think it, it, it could be something that's arguable. But it's harder to interrupt the tether recovery than it is uh, Luigi's side beat. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, because we even saw how uh, how far T3 Dome was able to tether with a beautiful angle on the forward air, right? Like, right. I was just like, wow, that was a very far, like, like ZSS tether range. I feel like the, the, the tether grab on, like, the angled versions of up air, or, or not up air, like up angled uh, forward air and back angled forward air, like the range on that is just stupid large. Like, yeah, and you can even up air too. Right. Like, I didn't even know the, that for yeah. a long time. Yeah, if you just do the normal one, like it, it's not that great, you know? But like, if you do the angle one, all of a sudden you can recover from anywhere, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's actually really insane. But I love that because he is the only character that has that mechanic, right? The, the angled uh, aerials. Yeah, ang angled aerials, right? I believe so, question mark? But I feel like, Yeah, I feel like that's true. Yeah, and I mean, even if he's not, he's one of the few. But um, I really like it that it, you really do have to incorporate it to his uh, play. Oh, I feel like he might have been able to go up air or up B there. I don't know. I feel like the only character that has like a similar mechanic, even though it's like completely different, would be Robin, who has a smash attack, a uh, sword. Yeah. yeah. Some kind of like different, like unique mechanic on aerials. Like right. even K. Roll has like the armors on his aerials that no other character has. Right. Ooh, the forward smash. Oh, but he barely. Yeah, he angled it up, and unfortunately, that's not going to be the right, correct angle because he just pancakes underneath it. Yeah, he if he angled down, he would have got him no matter what. Right. But maybe he thought he would still be in the air, something of the sorts. Maybe he just got a little nervous. It can be very nerve-wracking playing up on the stream in tournament, man. 
But right now, Mr. Con Con still with three entire stocks. But T3 Dome, if he can take the stock without taking too much damage, definitely set himself for a very doable situation on the second stock. Tries to get the Axles off the top, almost gets the forward tilt, but doesn't quite connect. But he still is oppressing Con Con off stage and on this ledge right now. Oh, man. There's a stick on the wall, but he doesn't have a double jump. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. I think he had to immediately up B, maybe. Maybe Mr. Konkon thought he, you know, he had maybe double I, jump, yeah. but, you know, when he got hit by the, the cross off stage, he probably used up his double jump like somewhere along the line to get back closer. That was, that was a beautiful tech chase reaction, and the fact that the dash tag scooped him up and hit him into the cross just for that damage too. Very nice stuff coming out from the Dome. You can tell he definitely knows his character. Also utilizing these spot dodges because he knows Mr. Konkon wants that grab. So much juicy damage from that grab. Oh man, that holy water like all, all this damage right here. Yeah, he's doing a really good job now. Mr. Kongon having quite a difficult time getting in here. And it just seems like T3 Dome has so much control over the stage right now. Oh, if he forward smash, that would have been a shield break. But it, it, it can, it's, it's risky, you know what I mean? You don't know if they're gonna shield like it. go for the shield. Yeah, and sometimes like you can time the F smash and like they'll get up, normal get up shield, but then the ax won't hit, you know what I mean? Right. So it definitely can be risky. Went for the Tomahawk, but now Concon finally getting some kind of neutral win. He's in the advantage state, and oh, no double jump, though. And that's going to be death if he can't make it back. No. Yeah, he just can't. He needed a misfire. Yeah. I he, mean, he tried. He, he tried, and but the thing is, I feel like T3 Dome knew that as well, and he was, like, waiting for the misfire, but he still got to execute. Oh, but, man, big damage here in T3 Dome. Definitely looking like he has all the momentum this game, number three. I love that he uses the cross as well while he's uh, recovering to kind of like cover himself too. Here we go, the drag down there and not going to be able to come off of it, but you know, T3 Dome's just taking this lead with the stride right here. Oh yeah, for sure. He, he got the drag down uh, Nair, but he didn't end up in front of him, so maybe he was just scared to do the reverse up B. At that point, just take the damage, you know, reset. Dude, it's crazy. Even if you parry the, uh, the like max range forwarder or back air, it's like dang. It. Like I feel like most of the time away. you just yeah. can't even do anything after. And here we go. So back on the ledge. Kong Kong goes, and there he is off stage. Yep. He's gonna set up the holy water right at the perfect time here. Oh, plunger gets the opening, but swatted right back out. And man, what is going to be the answer for Mr. Konkon? Here comes the axe. No holy water set up, but... but there's the bear, and that will be the stock and the game. And now we are going to game four. Yeah. T3 Dome putting himself on the board versus the Luigi. Yeah, we'll see if T3 Dome can break past uh, the 3-1. You know what I mean? Because he did get, he did lose 3-1 or 1-3 last time to Mr. Konkon in winners. But we'll see if he can get at least the game five, or even the game, the set win. That was a very convincing I mean, game he, number three. I mean, don't beat Kong Kong winners. Oh, he beat Kong Kong 3-1. He beat Kong Kong 3-0. Uh, oh, he beat him 3-0, wow. It was, it was the Fox and then the Oh, you were you were talking about the Razo man. Yeah. My so bad, I, my, I, I, I totally yeah. got that mixed up. Okay, so wow. I mean, then he can definitely win this. <laughs> he beat him 3-0, he just has to make another 3-0 happen right now. I mean, now. that was the 3-0 against his Fox and Joker. Oh, he didn't even go Luigi at he all. He didn't go Luigi at all. So, yet again, like, that, what do you do when, like, you go out of the fire and into the frying pan, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm, I still feel like it's really hard for Luigi on stage to get in because he has he has really bad air mobility. So, like, Luigi jumping in can be very difficult against the Belmonts, you know what I mean? Um, but, of course, Kon, Kon is just very comfortable with this character. He's been maining Luigi since Brawl, so over a decade of maining this character. So he, he's going to be comfortable on him. Um, but yeah, it's, it all just comes down to when Kon Kon does get his opening, he really, really, really has to make it count. Here we go, all these aerials. No. I feel like he's going to again. Right. I'm surprised they, he let him take a, a come back all the way here. You know, this is the stage that he won on, so. Yeah, yeah. It's a. Uh, you could, you could tell that T3 Dome was very confident on the stage, and it, and it showed just how long he can keep control on the stage. He just does it very, very well. And we're seeing a little bit here right now where like T3 Dome is just taking a commanding lead. 
cross setup. I like the down air, but Hong Kong finally gets his dash tag, gets him on the ledge here, but onto the off to the platform we go. Really nice retreat coming out from T3 Dome now, trying to get some uh, get some control center stage here. Oh, I love the plunger combination for the ledge trap. Kind of like pick an option, or you'll eventually get like nipped by it. All right. Fair off stage, and oh, here's the punish on the uh, recovery back to stage, but you know what? Not going to be able to find it in time. And Hong Kong is just sitting in that shield. There's not, not much like else he can do. Oh, oh manages wow. to snipe them with that holy water right there. Up against the stage, too. That was so good. And oh, no double jump. This is uh, looking pretty grim here. Oh, the ledge trap. Oh, oh not quite at a low number percent. Yeah. Dang, that would have been so hype if he got that. That was so close. Oh, look at this shield pressure, though. Yeah. Oh, there's a misfire. But gets the four tail to punish it on the landing. And look at this spacing coming out from T3 Dome. Oh, goes for the forward smash. Oh, tries to read the rollback. But how much shield do you have left, Mr. Kong Kong? Uh, enough wow. to take the stock, apparently. Okay, all right. There's the dash attack, but he's sitting at 137. He's got to not get hit by a lot of things or get this young zero to death with the rage. He misses the up air. He misses the up air. That was it. He had the rage on top of that. Do you think the rage caught him to whiff his punish? Possibly. It, it looked like the up air just didn't come out, though. So it looked like he just mistimed it. Oh, but again, no, he needed to, he needed to hit that edge guard twice. But yeah, that, that is a good point. The Rage might have possibly messed it up. Right. Oh man, but here we are again. Oh, but there's a fully, Jesus. not even fully charged, but like a three quarter charge forward smash right there. And he gets sniped off the ledge right there. Oh, he saved his double jump. Oh. Saved the double oh, jump. With, oh, oh my oh, god, that, that so would have been so cool if he had actually landed that. Yeah, yeah, that was very smart. Pretty oh, much just normal get up and no. Oh. Oh. Do you think he just air dodged and. Oh no. Do you think, do you think he, he's just like, no, I'm, I'm done for the game? Maybe. Or? It might have been. I Just don't. Kong Kong, don't go, don't go back to Kalos, bro. <laughs> he he has to make sure he doesn't get tilted right now right. because this is the classic. I'd say if he, if, he, if he doesn't ban Yoshi's, go to Yoshi's. Yoshi's is probably Belmont's like, worst stage. Yeah. Because the, the slant, anything with slanted edges by the ledge, it's harder for them to set up the holy water because they got to stand farther back. Or like jump, or they gotta do some. They, they have to do something not so standard. Right. And Yoshi's it dips so low off the edge. Like he probably banned Yoshi's, but because like you said, that's definitely Belmont's worst day. Here we go, Pokemon Stadium for the final game. All right, we're not on Kalos at least. Yeah. It's very very relevant that T3 Dome is down for the Kalos. Right. I feel like no Belmont's do really good on uh. Battlefield and like FD. And Kalos is effectively like FD with like a side little with, I, with side pass ones, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's big too. Yeah. And but right now. Oh, but ooh. there's the four charge, forward smash and yet again. You know, that was a zero to death. Yes. Uh, people get doing normal get up into the light, man. <laughs> Don't normal get up into the holy water, man. <laughs> it's imminent death. Just wait for it to run out. Do something. Jump. Roll. Just don't so, sometimes, get up. sometimes it can catch jumps. I mean, yeah. Just roll at the very least, or, or just wait it out because it's not like it can hit you on the ledge. Yeah. Or if it does, then it's like one to two percent. You're not dying at the very least. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. man. Okay. This is this is just a, a dude. this is just a slaughter at this point. You know, Belmonts are feeling super confident when they're off stage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's the roll, but. Oh, and yeah, he has a double jump. Oh my goodness, that he hasn't got a touch. He Dude. hasn't got a touch. There's no way. There's no way. Okay, oh, okay, okay. No J. Calm down, guys. No JV4. Yeah. No JV4. Get out of here. Maybe a three stock at this point because like Hong Kong is just sweating. Okay. Stocks. Okay. Like okay. Oh. All right, we got the. Ooh. Okay. 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 With the stage yeah, one that, you just need to do that uh, two more times. He just has to do that two more times. Two more times. Oh wait, oh there's the air dodge, right. SDI up. Yes, you can SDI up against that. Right. It's the best way to uh, SDI it. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's oh. the second a, one. A, 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 a. Oh, not enough. He needed that one fireball. Yeah. Remember he got the one, one fireball, fireball before? Oh my god. Dang, he he didn't do the same recipe. He had to hit him with a fireball first. 
Wow, that's actually kind of crazy if you oh think about my, it. Yeah, oh my, it's like when you like look at your friends like math homework, be like, wait a minute, I thought I did all the same things. Yeah. Why didn't I get the same answer? Damn. That's that's a <laughs> that sucks. Oh, then he gets hit by the flames and oh. the accent. Oh, that's it. Wow. That. that Dude, T3 done with the reverse 3-0, Yeah, though. that was the convincing reverse 3-0. Oh, my God. Like, Jesus. Dude. When, when, when Belmont set up shop, like, it, it takes a tornado and a half to get rid of them. Dude, is it just me, or do most Belmont players, like, after they, like, destroy someone, they're not even, like, they're kind of, like, shaking their head, like. I could have done better. I, like, no, I, well, like I, that. I don't know if they're just, like, dang, man, like. You really got hit by all that stuff, <laughs> like, or you know what I mean, like, right. dang, you really normal got up into like, you kept normal get up into holy water kind of thing, or I, I don't know like what the head shake means, but they're definitely not like popping off. I, I've never seen like a Belmont player like, yes, yeah. Like, I mean, I, the only time you see a Belmont paper, uh, player pop off is when they get like a really cool like cross like combo, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Fire, something, something, like something, fire, returning fire, cross, like fire.